Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. This is Country Conversations with Diva D. <laughs> How you doing? And I'm uh, Mother Wendy. Shout out to Mother Wendy. I heard that she had moved back to Florida. I hope she's doing well. We haven't heard anything from her, but she might be just falling off the grid like her idols, Donna Shore and Johnny Carson. Because when Johnny Carson stopped doing that talk show, did you hear anything else from him? Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. So maybe she just want to live a low-key rest of her life, lifestyle, good luck to whatever that is. But I definitely would have loved to have seen her do um this Diddy story. But that's neither here nor there. This is my episode recap of Marriage Medicine. Sorry about that. Well, the episode opens up as it normally does with the doctors doing what they do. Um... Simone is in there with a normal patient as usual. And um <laughs> shout out to uh Simone being in there with normal patients. And um and so people are saying they want to see Dr. Jackie with a regular degla smegla patient. However, we must admit that Dr. Jackie is snooty. Okay. So she does what the snooty people do and don't take Medicaid and go over there and see the rich folks. However, <laughs> I'm glad we don't see her with her regular necklace, man, because all she does is call them fat. Okay, moving right along. Oh, snap. We have an event coming in. And the event, the event is Dr. Heavenly and Dr. Damon's um, medical mixer. Okay? So, we are ready for that, right? Get them a break. Get them time to do what they need to do. I, I don't recall them saying anything about Simone's kids. We're tired, okay? Moving right along. So, um, Eugene comes up with a way to get back into Toya's good graces, and finally, finally, it is something that she loves to do. The floral arrangements. He is really trying, and she is really getting on my nerves, but she did give him a 10 on this one, and being that I'm a plant person, you know, semi <laughs> hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas. Wow. I just love seeing that scene. And I was like, the next man that I have, I, I think I want to do four arrangements. Not like Ungrateful Toy, though. Move right along. So it's time for Phaedra's son's 13th birthday. And um, she was like, Son, what do you want? The son says, I just want a carnival thing. That's can I have that, Mama? Sure, son. It's gonna be about seventy thousand dollars. Okay. <laughs> That's what she said. Move right along. So the medical messenger is underway and everybody is arriving and heavenly is in something, right? She's in whatever Phaedra is in in her confession. With the feathers and the tinsel and the gold. and Her ass was barely covered. Not Miss Christian. Not Miss she can't go to Dr. Reiki because she got to have. She's a good Christian woman. I just know that. Well, while she's at this event, she's peddling off Dr. I mean, well, Dr. Reiki. She's peddling her off to the different doctors and different eligible bachelor there some not eligible and she gets up on the stage her and um dr damon and they talk about how much they appreciate each other and how this event wouldn't be possible without one or the other then they go back and show a little montage of how they met and he thought she was real cute because she could hang with the dudes now what about that now she was the type that hung with dudes because now she all softy pink ain't that right dad the fuck so hmm so, me and my sister like that. We're able to um, integrate with the fellas. My sister is a, a real sports fanatic, more so about basketball. For some reason, I like basketball. I love basketball. But I'm not into college basketball, which is very weird. Now, I do like to watch ladies' college basketball. For some reason, I don't like to watch the dudes. It seems like they both me. Same thing they say about women in the WNBA. 
women's college basketball is just more interesting to me than males. It is what it is. Okay, and then football. She knows nothing about football, but I am a football fan. Fan of the uh, Dallas Cowboys, but we're going to move right along. <laughs> when I go talk about them. <laughs> I was just making that in reference to how I enjoy sports, just like Heavenly claims she did. That's probably what she was just doing to get her hook some diamond chat. Probably ain't looked at a football game since. So they all smoking cigars and everything is good. And here's Dr. Jack down off in the confession. Well, I'll say we're going to have to make a call to the Surgeon General because <laughs> we're, um, we're in here smoking cigars. And a medical mixer. Child back. Get, the, get that damn stick out your ass. I know you are an AKA and they are using the excuse that you are one of Mississippi's finest where you got your degree. But honey, I don't know if you are. But you know what's so weird to me is how they'll say she went to school in Mississippi but never mentioned Alcorn. Kind of weird. Because they talk about family. If we're going to talk about the sweat, let's talk about the sweat, honey. Let's keep it all sweatful. Okay, so we're at the medical mix and we're all enjoying ourselves and we're smoking our cigars. Some are smoking the pipes and whatnot. And um, here is the 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 shot that's going to be heard around the world, right? Okay, they sit down and then uh, it was, they go over the montage of the different vacations and how some vacations were disastrous and they went to Hawaii on um, Barbados, and, they, and there was a vow of renewal. There were different arguments about, you know, Dr. Daddy and how uh, his their relationship is never mentioned on the show, which is true. I got to get with Toyo now. Mm-hmm. And they went to Rihanna's home, so it's time for vacation time. Okay, who does the best vacations? Nobody will see Simone. So here's where the big announcement comes in. Cecil and Simone decide to go to where? Hilton Head. Where was Hilton Head? Hilton Head was the place that Big Curtis, big ass, big tall ass, big mole ass, decided he was going to go over there and have him a good old affair. Okay, this gets into Dr. Heavenly's cross mace more than it gets into Dr. Jackie's. Dr. Jackie tried to play that calm role, but apparently she's upset. Then they decide they want to get on to um, Dr. Alicia. Well, Dr. Alicia, your husband is a caveman. And Toya, <laughs> Toya decides she wants to speak up for everybody and say, oh, yeah, he's a caveman, all right. I couldn't deal with him. And she said Dr. Alicia quickly got them off her ass, didn't she? <laughs> well, then he acts like you, Toya, because he's hard to please. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Say what now? <laughs> Get them off you, Alicia. Say you ain't gonna run, they ain't gonna run you up off the show. <laughs> I ain't mad at ya. I ain't mad at ya. And baby, when I tell you she look good in that doggone confessional, caveman husband and all, again, let's go back over history. We are in a patriarchal society because we are in a male-dominated society. Caucasian male society had nothing to do with black male because I tell you one thing, two things for certain. Black women have always worked outside the home. <laughs> this is nothing new for us. We didn't have to go marching down the street to uh, be able to work outside the home. Even when we during the slavery, we were working outside the home. Okay? Pregnant. Picking cotton. <laughs> go on, black women. Black girl magic. So, uh, Dr. Alicia's like, well, you know, sometimes you got to let him know. I appreciate my husband. He appreciates me. It's just a matter of he was raised that way and I was raised one way. And I do have a level of independence. It's just that I'm going to respect my husband, unlike some of y'all. Well, Jack gives her husband plenty of respect for what he was doing down in his head. The reason why we can't get along about the show. Okay, so moving right along. We get to heavenly, uh, the party. The carnival party is amazing. I like everything about it. I love the balloons. I just don't like the $70,000 price tag. But the boys turned 13. And I'm with Toya. I 
thought that it would have been nice to see both parents there being able to co-parent at this uh, Estragonza up on the stage. We got trumpeteers and then we have the white introducing Mr. President. Yeah, you know. Hey, the white, how you doing? <laughs> And so they all get over to the table, right? We got to talk about Hilton here. We can't just enjoy this baby's birthday boy. We got to talk about Hilton here. And so in a previous scene, Jackie was talking about, talking to Curtis about how uh, they were going to Hilton here. And then Curtis was like, uh-uh, these folks ain't about to get in my business and drag me all over the world by my mo. That's right. You don't let them drag you by your mo, Curtis. How about you and Jackie just go to Hills and Head and make this a couple's trip like uh for the show like you would normally do? How about that? Let's do that. Okay. So they're around the table and there is uh Heavenly being Doc Jackie's watchdog and telling her you didn't think that that was something wrong with that by you um saying that she should go on this trip. And so that Jack is going back and forth in her mind. She talked she thought about she, she was just talking to Curtis and his mole about them going, so she's on the fence about it. But lo and behold, there's Dr. Hemley and all her clerk. Oh, you don't think anything is wrong with that Simone? You, it was like you almost did on purpose, Dr. Simone. I did not do that on purpose. I've been knowing Jackie for 20 years. 20 years don't mean shit, girl. You should have thought about this when you even considering Dr. Jack. Dr. Jack is going back and forth, looking back and forth, looking back and forth. So Dr. Jack says, hey, 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 I'm just about to raise up out of this whole situation and let them have it. And then Simone's like, come get your watch dog. Oh, okay. You got a bulldog on your team and you don't need one at this point. This is between me and you. If you're feeling some kind of way about going on this trip, you should have told me. It should have been our discussion to have. And in my opinion, I do not for one second think that Dr. Simone was being or had any malice when she, or, or thought about Jackie when she planned this trip. She was trying to plan something, in my opinion, that was just nice and simple. A nice place that no one hardly goes to. <laughs> but according to Toya, Myrtle Beach is the ghetto. So, hey, that's something new to me. <laughs> you want to go to the ghetto? Maybe because, you know, Black Beach is at Myrtle Beach, and, you know, Toya don't want to be around the low-class black people anymore. Shout out to her being from Detroit and once was a waitress. Talking about somebody, I want to forget where they came from. Picture Toy, forgetting where she came from. Then the baby gets on the mic. They're still arguing. Baby over there on the mic. They're not paying attention, which they should be. He gets on the mic and he shows all kinds of gratitude to his mother. And she's like, they have such a friendship because, you know, once Apollo went away, it's like he became real protective of her. And he was about to cry. And I love when boys are raised by moms and they uh, cry. That means that they could show appreciation to women, in my opinion. Okay. So, the argument goes on. They're still arguing about Dr. Jackie going to the trip. And so, she's still on the fence. They decide if they're going to go or not, not going to go. But clearly, they're going to go. Cause and then, on the next episode, she's on the trip. There wasn't much to this episode. It was okay, okay? It wasn't like I hated it like I did for the last couple of episodes. It wasn't bad. It was good elements in this episode. So, on this episode, out of five stars, I'll go ahead and give it a, a solid two. Well, that's better than last week because last week I probably gave it a half a star. <laughs> and that is my episode recap of Marriage to Medicine. Come on in, come on in. I hope you enjoyed this recap as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. And I hope I gave it to you real and raw like I too. This has been Country Conversations with Diva D. And as I do, when I close, I'm going to chuck them up. Deuces. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. Share the video. Share the video. I am growing. I am now at 800 and something subscribers. It took me five months to get here. And I don't think that's bad. 
for you know five months but come on in come on in you are welcome and it's still commercial free entertainment over here you have to have a thousand subscribers to get that paycheck okay so i would greatly appreciate you guys helping me get that paycheck but while it's commercial free entertainment enjoy i'm out